Good morning guys, um, it's 8.11 a.m. I already got dressed and I have my scrubs on. Yeah, so I walked like 10 minutes to get to that box and I realized this is not post office. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Layla and I'm a second year Bachelor of Science in Nursing student at the University of Ottawa. So today I have a week in my life as a nursing student video. Um, I started like a first day of school YouTube video and I don't know yet if I'm gonna like insert a clip of that, but it was just a little bit too hectic. I don't know, I was just focusing on other stuff on the first day of school. I'm sure a lot of you can understand that, especially if you're a university student, like especially with it being the first week of school, I was just still figuring things out. By the way, sorry if you hear any noises in the background. Um, I have like five roommates, not like five roommates, I have five roommates. And then I have someone on FaceTime on my phone, but I'm muted. Anyways, yeah, so last week we started classes on September 7th and today is september 12th it's 11 31 pm sorry it's a bit late and my camera is about to die but last week we started school on a wednesday so i didn't have a full week of school yet um this week is our full week of our first full week of school and today's monday so i already started this first week of school i had two classes today i had introduction to nursing sciences or whatever um in french obviously all of my nursing specific courses are in french since my program is in french and sometimes i choose to take the electives and other stuff in english yeah i had that class and then lifespan psychology once again in french i like both of those classes it was my first time having them because um like i said we started school on a wednesday last week so i didn't have my monday or tuesday classes and just a little fyi i am planning on making this channel a little bit more nursing specific of course my goal was to make it more university ottawa specific but now i'm also integrating nursing into that and the reason for that is because i personally enjoy i actually love watching like day in the life as a nursing student videos and week in the life as a nursing student videos and etc so i thought it'd be fun to start that i'm starting the vlog on monday night right now and it's 11.33 now, two minutes since the last time update. Tomorrow I have my first lab, which is super exciting. I'm very excited for that. And then I have my quantitative methods in blah, blah, blah class. So it's like a statistics class. And it's gonna be my first time having that class as well. Yeah, so for my lab tomorrow, I'm gonna be wearing my scrubs. You guys are gonna see me in that. And that's mainly why I'm excited to start labs. Um, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be really official when i wear my scrubs i'm gonna charge my camera and then probably show you guys me getting ready for bed see you guys soon sorry i also just realized that you guys have definitely noticed but i dyed my hair this summer in the beginning of august um it's supposed to be like a ginger color i'm absolutely rocking with it and i always get like compliments so yeah just wanted to put some emphasis on my new hair and also my new room i'm living off campus this year sorry i keep looking at myself and not the lens but i'm living off campus this year so that's why my room looks different i've obviously moved out of 90u i really wanted to do a room tour for 90u but i just got really busy with exams and moving out so that didn't happen but i really wanted it to happen trust me i really wanted to do that for you guys but it just didn't happen and yeah hello guys i'm back so um i just finished my little night routine i washed my face well first i removed my makeup and then i washed my face um actually before washing my face i brushed my teeth and flossed and mouth washed sorry about the lisp i have my retainer in as per usual it is currently 102 a.m i was feeling tired all day but for some reason i'm going to bed really late i have my first alarm set for 6 45 a.m and then one at seven and then one at 7 30 that's really the last minute that i can wake up at um my lab starts at 9 a.m and i have to take 
the train from U Ottawa to the Lee stop. I always gotta plan my commuting because my classes are not on campus, on the main campus at least. Um, but I'm really excited for tomorrow. It's gonna be my first lab, as I mentioned before. We're literally gonna be practicing washing our hands. I, um, I know how that can sound really ridiculous to people who aren't in the health um, sector, but it's actually really important like hi hand hygiene when you're dealing with sick people or when you're in a setting that's like a hospital and whatnot but yeah it's pretty evident we're gonna be practicing how to do that properly so checking that all the dirt germs are off of our hands after we wash our hands and then we're also going to be practicing um the interview so when you first meet a patient and you have to like introduce yourself and what you're about to do etc so i'm really excited about that i feel like that's gonna make my journey as a student nurse more official because as you guys may know um last year um, all my classes were online basically and I didn't get that full uni experience and this year I'm gonna start having it which I'm really excited for um, so far so good I'm very interested in the classes I've had so far I'm really excited to see what this year brings me especially with me starting my clinicals during the second semester so starting in January just so you guys know what my schedule looks like for the fall term so I'm taking five classes which is the usual load I'm retaking anatomy and physiology one um, I'm very open and honest with everyone about this but I did fail anatomy and physiology one during my first year during the first semester i'm going to take accountability for my actions i know that it was due to the fact that i didn't um study enough and i didn't apply myself enough so hopefully this time around i actually succeed in the course and i pass it I'm definitely gonna be putting more effort into the class this time and studying more but other than that class i also have um intro to nursing like i mentioned before that's in french obviously and then i have health assessment i'm like translating everything in my head because they're in french mostly and then i help i have quantitative methods in health something it's basically statistics like i mentioned before once again i also have lifespan psychology i know that's the right translation um i only have one class online this semester it's the anatomy and physiology one class and it's, it's asynchronous so if you don't know what that means it just means you do it on your own time basically on your own time but for us our exams are still scheduled and we have quizzes so basically like just make sure you're on track as if it's a like a synchronous class so yeah i'm going to go to bed soon i'm just unwinding and i'm watching blue period you can't really see that i just started the show so i can't really tell you guys how the show is yet it's like an anime show on netflix so yeah i'm going to unwind watch that probably and hopefully fall asleep soon because i have to be up very early and also just a disclaimer um obviously you guys know that when you work in anything healthcare related there's a lot of rules with um confidentiality and just privacy in general so this week you'll notice that i don't really film in my classes one because i'm focusing on paying attention and two because i don't want to violate any regulations um regarding the university so i don't want to film any professors if they don't want to be filmed etc i really just don't want to get in trouble to sum it up i'll just be updating you guys on how my classes went etc how my days went and i'll just film outside of class mostly so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow Sorry, I said tomorrow, but I really mean today. I forgot that it's 1 a.m. Good morning, guys. Um, it's 8, 11 a.m. I already got dressed and I have my scrubs on. I'm just wearing my black hair. If anyone is wondering, I got these scrubs from Marks. And I don't know if they have that store in countries other than Canada, but if you're in Canada, then you can get your scrubs from there. And I think they have a deal right now. Um, I don't know if they still will by the time I upload this video. So I'm gonna leave here at about 8.20 or 8.30 to catch the train. Um, I have to walk to the train, which is like a 10 minute walk, and then take the train, which won't take that long because it's just one stop away 
I am using this bag. If you are on the nursing side of YouTube, then you know that bag very well. Um, the girl who started the trend with that bag is called Ashley Taylor. If you want to go check out her YouTube channel, she just recently became a registered nurse in the US, which I find really inspiring and cool. But yeah, she started the trend with that bag. So many people have it, and I thought it was really cute, especially since I like pink. So I just got that. Um, it's mainly for clinicals, but I'm also using it for labs. Yeah, and I, if you guys are wondering where I got this little cute badge reel, I got them off of Amazon. Um, the plastic part was a pack of 10, and then these were also like a pack of 10. Like, they were both in big packs, so I find that very convenient. So once again, I'm not going to film in the lab, obviously, but I will update you guys on how it went after my lab. I'm back from my lab obviously um, it's 12 21 um, it was supposed to end at 11 50 a.m. and she ended at 12 so I took the train obviously back here to campus or I took them back to campus and then walked home just a little recap on what we did today so first we practiced hand hygiene like I said so she put like a powder on her hands and then we had to wash it off properly obviously and then she put like a uv light after to see if we had any germs or bacteria left on our hands and obviously your girl didn't have any left on her hands because i've been practicing hand hygiene like good hand hygiene and hygiene overall it's really important especially with the pandemic like i don't know how people still don't know how to properly wash their hands no offense but yeah and also they gave us our lab kits for next week um i don't want to open it yet sorry not next week i meant next semester um they explained it and they said that they they're giving it to us now just to free up some space and storage or something that's gonna be for my lab next semester which is pratique en soin infirmier which is uh something i don't know what it is in english i don't have another class until 7 p.m so i'm just going to eat first of all because i'm very um hungry and then i don't know what i'm going to do after that to be honest i'm probably going to study what we learned today and then maybe start studying for our next lab just so i'm prepared for that i'll update you guys later again i'm still in my scrubs i need to change out of these so yeah sorry i almost forgot to mention that after we practiced washing our hands um we practiced the interview part of like your interaction with the patient so we practiced introducing ourselves um giving the reason why like you're there and then getting the patient's consent to like do whatever you need to do and then we also did like a specific case like an example and we all had roles our my class is 10 people um so it's pretty small i like that because i ap i'm actually confident to lift my hand up and answer questions so yeah we all had a role um because there's different there's a lot of different steps to like treating a patient when you first meet them so you have to find out their medical history you have to find out like what they're feeling what they think caused it it's just like a bunch of stuff so yeah it's things that we learned in our lecture part of the class so it wasn't anything new we were just practicing it obviously and then I think she said the next class we're going to look more into charting because it was kind of introduced to us today. And then we're also going to start head to toe assessment. She said that for now we're, gonna, we're not going to start every single system because head to toe assessment is literally assessing every single system. So lungs, digestive, everything. Overall, if I had to rate it, I'd say 10 out of 10 just because I'm super interested in what we're learning and I'm really glad that I chose this as a field of study and I can't wait to actually start clinicals and our labs next semester because that's when we're gonna learn how to administer medications and stuff. Right now it's just um, we're learning how to assess patients. Not patients, sorry. Um, she, my professor, she, or my instructor, or whatever i don't know what to call her she explained that um the medical field we're starting to kind of drift away from calling um the people we treat patients we're gonna start calling them more clients or people 
because um, patient is associated with just like sickness and stuff so they wanted to have a more neutral word because not everyone who comes into the hospital or clinic is sick so they wanted to have a more neutral word um if you're interested in what i'm saying you're interested if you're not i'm sorry about me just blabbing about stuff i will update you guys later on whatever you guys i'm extremely embarrassed the last time i vlogged was i think tuesday um the day i had my lab friday today um 11 14 a.m and i just realized that i never continued my vlog Obviously, I'm still adapting to my schedule. I was extremely tired, especially on Tuesday night because I had my statistics class and it was very, it was very tiring. Um, it was a night class, so from 7 p.m. to 9:20 p.m. Yeah, I came home and I was really tired from that. And then um, Wednesday, I had a health assessment lecture, and that's it. But um, I also had some trouble getting up for that class. Um, even though it was at 1 p.m., I woke up on time, I think, but I didn't start getting ready until like half an hour after I was supposed to start getting ready. I was really just brushing. And then after that, I was just relaxing for the rest of the day. And then yesterday, I didn't really have anything. So it was purely just because I forgot to vlog yesterday, even though I really could have. And today's Friday. I have no class, which is probably the worst day to vlog um, since this is a nursing school vlog. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm not really giving a good first impression for the people who are watching for the first time. But if this isn't your first time watching me, then you know, like. <laughs> I tend to forget to vlog, forget to make videos, but listen, I'm working on it. Today, all I'm going to do is probably study, most likely, and then I have to drop off two returns at the post office, um, one from Amazon and then the other one from Pretty Little Thing because like the clothes don't fit me. But for now, I'm just going to probably go make some pancakes or something, something to eat, and then watch some Netflix and then leave to go drop off those returns. So talk to you guys later. Hey guys, just thought that I would update you on how my day has went so far. It's 5.23 p.m. and let me tell y'all, I walked for so long. I searched up where the post office is, like Canada Post, and um, for some reason, they have a location for just the post box yeah so i walked like 10 minutes to get to that box and i realized this is not a post office so then i have to i had to walk another 10 minutes to get to the actual post office and then i also bought some stuff because it was inside of shoppers drug mart a lot of canada post offices are in the shoppers drug mart so i just bought some stuff while i was there um i bought another purell thing for my bag because i have one and i have like two different bags that i use so i just thought that i could have one on both instead of having to keep switching them and i got a little lysol wipes packet because a lot of people on campus seem to be sick right now and it's nasty as fuck so and then i finally purchased these maybelline lip glosses um i got them in shades topaz and copper they're so good i'm wearing um the topaz one right now And then on top of that, I also bought um, just this clear um, lash and brow gel mascara. Uh, I'm going to be using it on my eyebrows most likely sometimes. And I also got this lipstick in the shade, it doesn't really have a name, but it's a matte lipstick in shade, I guess, 20U904. That's what it says right there. But yeah, that's all I got. And um, after I went there, I stopped at Starbucks because they have half off drinks right now. So I got a venti strawberry acai with lemonade, no strawberries and light ice. If you want to know my, what my order is. Um, yeah, I got that for $3 instead of the usual $6. Um, after that, I got some sushi as well. Um, I did spend quite a bit of money today. I went to the bookstore to pick up my textbook for statistics. Um, 
just this and yeah after i did that i came home i have not st started studying yet and i've been home for the past like two hours maybe um i was just on the phone with my friend lisa for quite a bit we were just catching up oh yeah and i also got this you Ottawa bucket hat just to show some school spirit um i initially ordered it for the homecoming game between you Ottawa and carlton but i don't really know if i'm going yet i haven't bought a ticket and they're definitely gonna be sold out soon maybe next year i went last year so i'm not too sad about possibly not going this year i definitely need to eat again at some point and i definitely need to go grocery shopping i don't really have food here this is really random but i'm also considering getting like an animal a pet um my number one option right now is a cat but i'm just trying to figure out like where it's going to stay if i'm not home because I'm not gonna get into it but yeah i just have to figure out a few things before i actually make that decision but i'm really hoping that i can get that cat because i've always wanted one and i never got the chance to have a pet at home except for like betta fish and i'm really done with fish no offense to them not like they have feelings but no offense i'm definitely going to update you guys again maybe hopefully aren't you guys proud of me for actually updating you guys and coming back though I know it's the bare minimum, but see you guys again later. Hey guys, so I'm with my roommates and we're at Loblaws. Um, you didn't anyways, <clears throat> no, I was scared. Um, okay, we're at Loblaws. We're gonna grocery shop to make dinner because we don't have any food in the house. Oh, we're so her dad is off. That's why. Her mommy. Huh? What? <laughs> when were we gonna take out cheese? I thought we were. Um, on the menu tonight we have lasagna and Caesar salad. I keep being stared out, stared at. Hey guys. Um, I just finished making the lasagna. Her. And then we're gonna make some Caesar salad once the lasagna is almost ready or ready. By the way, guys, I know you, I know I don't have that many clips of me studying, but trust me, I do study. I just don't film it. See, the differences with me, I never need a niggas ever. Ooh, I like the quality on this, I know it's good. lasagna it was pretty good and then after that i just we were just chilling and talking and then i went to bed it was a friday night so might as well take a break like it's not study every day but today i'm going to study a little bit um i don't know if it's really classified as studying but i'm just gonna go over my powerpoints for my um classes for next week so i can like prepare the lectures um beforehand um right now i'm going to read this document on nurse practitioners for my um introduction to nursing class and then i'm just gonna look at the powerpoint for next class and then do the readings for that and then on monday i also have lifespan psychology so i'm gonna see if there's any readings or anything to do for that class as well this is gonna be the end of this vlog um it's saturday i don't have the date on me saturday september 17th 2.04 p.m. Um, I'm just gonna end the vlog with me studying so that you guys can see that I'm actually a productive student because I had a comment on my day in the life as a uni student video saying like, oh, do you guys even study? And I'm like, yes, obviously we do study. If I didn't, I would not be in second year right now, trust me. But I just don't really document it on camera because I'm very focused while I study, especially with having ADHD. I like to have 
the minimal distractions as possible. Sorry if you hear any background noises. Um, my roommates are in the kitchen right now just chatting it up. I'm going to probably listen to some classical music and I'll put some music in the vlog for you guys to listen to as well while you watch me study.